stop brings us to the foothills of the most famous and the most beautiful mountain range in the world, the Himalayas. Grazing by the dense undergrowth to your right are the Barals. The Baral or Himalayan blue sheep is a caprin found in the high Himalayas of Tibet, China, India, Pakistan and even Kashmir. The Baral is a major source of food for the snow leopards, its predators. Also to your right side, Perched on those branches are the Himalayan griffin vultures. Now vultures are scavenging birds feeding on carcasses and by feeding on animal remains. They help to tidy up a certain area and ultimately that prevents the spread of diseases. Once again, to your left side, some more Himalayan taws. Now taws are related to goats except they have shorter horns and no beards. And the real goats though are on the steps to your right. I hope you're seeing that male yeah, yeah. marker up there with its corkscrew shaped horns. The marker is the official animal of Pakistan and it comes from two Persian words, mar meaning snake and kor meaning eating. But the marker is not a snake eating animal, it is purely herbivorous by nature. Now, once again to our lovely guests on board, please switch off the flash functions of your cameras. Thank you so much. Living alongside the Makas are the smallest of all the mountain sheep species. On these rocky terrains to your right live the Muflons. From the rugged Himalayas, let's now have a shift of environment and proceed to the marshlands, home to a variety of species including the greater flamingos. And they are often considered as the supermodels of the marshlands. To maintain their slender figure, they adhere to a strict diet which comprises mainly of small organisms like algae and crustaceans like shrimps. Now here's a tiny little waterfall down below us and in this habitat live the oriental smallpox otters, the smallest species of otters in the world. Now if you want to watch the otters at play and perhaps take a closer look at the Indian wolves curled up on the borders to your right, you may explore the fishing cat trail. It is the one located very close to the main tram station. Now going back to the marshland setting, let's try to identify some of the birds we can find here. Now those gray ones that you see on the sandbanks are the bar-headed geese, while the black and white birds are the magpie geese. Well, obviously the biggest birds of them all perched on those branches are the pelicans. With huge throat pouches, they can hold up 20 liters of water. Now speaking of water, the waters provide an excellent breeding and feeding ground for many birds but it's also a playground for some big animals like crocodiles to play hide and seek. So if you're seated by the side, make sure you keep your arms and legs in for you never know what exactly could be hiding amongst these reeds. From the dangers of the waters, hold on tight as we shall now plunge into the vastness of the Nepalese River Valley. As we proceed to the low-lying hills of the Nepalese River Valley, let's try to find out together what kind of animals inhabit this part of the world. Try to look very carefully around you. Try to look very closely and you will see. Nope, no animals, but I'm sure you've noticed very tall grass all around you. Now these are the elephant grass, which can grow up to four meters. And with that, it can easily conceal the huge bulk of a full-grown elephant. In the meantime, if you love the birds that we saw along the way, or if you simply love birds, I highly recommend that you visit Jurong Bird Park and see more than 9,000 birds of 600 species from all over the world. Raising tonight on this vast grassy tract of land to your right, take a look at the 
biggest animal we have seen so far. The Asian lion. There are five types of lions in the world, two of which can be found in Africa, the black and the white, and three in Asia, the Sumatran, the Javan, and this, the Indian rhino. Of the three existing Asian rhinos, the Indian rhino is the biggest. Hence, it is also known as the Greater Asian Rhino. Now, once again, to our guests on board, you can take as many pictures as you wish. You can take as many pictures as 